Hello, everybody. Here is speaking Rafał Gendas. Uh, today, we will have a special chart of Kendall Jenner. She was born two days back on 3rd November. Again, I was looking for a chart. Uh, who was born on 3rd November? I had a list and uh, she was the very well-known person on the list. So I thought, uh, let's give it a try and let's look what interesting yogas uh, she has in chart. So uh, we will be going uh, through her um, fame, through her wealth, career life, a little bit about family, relationships, and mostly about her success and what kind of yogas uh, in the chart shows this. So let's start uh, straight away. So in her chart, a uh, very interesting thing uh, here to note is that uh, her lagna, which is here, the ascendant, lagna is ascendant. It's ascendant is basically the first house. It shows the personality. And uh, the first rule of uh, Vedic astrology when it comes to fame or being well known is that the moon and Jupiter has to influence these points. So Lagna and Aruda Lagna has to be influenced by moon or Jupiter to have this uh, fame as a celebrity or being a famous person, being well known, this needs to be there. There are a few other yogas, um, which I will also show here, but this is the very important yoga. So first thing we see here is that she has moon in the Lagna. So the first thing is here, the moon and Jupiter, she has moon in the lagna and the, and the lagna, the ascendant is loaded by Jupiter. So the two, two points are there. The other thing is that uh, there is another rule which shows that if the Aruda lagna, which is here, uh, is connected to the lagna, to the ascendant, then the person also is famous. And it happens that here is the sign of Taurus and the Taurus is ruled by the moon and the moon is again in the lagna. So again, she has the second rule, which, is, which was very important. Uh, and that, made, that is making her famous all the time. That made her famous. And uh, here I've written that the candle is best known for television show, uh, Keeping Up with Kardashians. Uh, Google named Jenner as the second most Google model in the world on 16 December 2014. And uh, by People Magazine on 9th April 2014, Kendall Jenner was the fifth... Uh, was in the list of 50 most beautiful people in the world. And uh, now the next uh, very important rule is that uh, if we want to know what will be the thing that the person will be well known from, what, or what is, the, what is the real image we uh, associate with the person when we think of them or when we hear the name or when we try to visualize them and so on. So uh, we know that the Aruda Lagna was here and for person to be known in the entertaining sector, be the actor or famous uh, singer or rock star or DJ or anything related to entertainment, then the Venus has to have something to do with Aruda Lagna. And here the Taurus is loaded by two planets. And one was that moon in Lagna, which was giving her fame. And another thing was that Venus here. And that Venus is giving her the entertaining per, uh, uh, sector in, in which she works. And uh, the thing is also that uh, this, this yoga, Venus and Mars, is, has to do with being a very uh, um, a pretty person, being very like, like a superstar and having a lot of admiration from other people. So this is also connected to the Jupiter, which is a Lagna Lord, which shows her uh, directly, her character, her personality, and also how she is. So these people with these yogas connected to a, a Lord of Ascendant, maybe the sex symbols, or maybe people who are very sexy, very, uh, very, um, have very uh, attractive body, and they are very attractive people. So this brings this fame and this um, being famous as a very attractive person, uh, together in that yoga of Moon, Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. So that is very strong in her chart, and uh, that is very nicely nice thing when when I was analyzing that to to meet these yogas in her chart. So uh, here we have the uh, the Kardashians, uh, the family of Kardashians is here. Uh, she and uh, uh, here is the uh, Kendall basically and. Uh, she was. Uh, she has the half sisters, uh, Kim and Chloe, and this is um, 
through Chris Jenner, through her mother, uh, they are uh, having uh, one family. So the next point uh, which I want to make is about her wealth, because also we know that she is a very wealthy person. So how we would analyze that or how is that seen in the chart, how we can uh, see that also in our charts. So uh, again, uh, we need to uh, uh, draw here the Aruda Lagna, because that's an important point when it comes to everything which is tangible or related to a uh, social status, social standing. So um, her Aruda Lagna is here in the Taurus again. And uh, there is the rule that uh, the 11th Lord from the Aruda Lagna shows, uh, and here again, this will be the Lagna. So she is basically earning from her fame, we could say. And there is that rule that uh, if 11 from Arud Lagna is related to exalted or debilitated planet, which are called Ucha or Nicha, then the person becomes or is very wealthy. This is the rule. And uh, on the first glance, we see that neither Moon nor Jupiter, because these grahas are not connected to, they are not debilitated, they are not exalted. But if you open the Navamsha, and I, I will show you the Navamsha chart later, uh, you will see that Jupiter is debilitated in the Navamsha. So that is that rule is fulfilled. She will be a very wealthy person. In fact, she is already, but that is the rule. And uh, here we see that in November 2017, she was set to, um, it was highest paid model in the world by Forbes. And in 2015, her annual income was uh, $4 million. So it's uh, very huge. She is in the top, high top when it comes to earning uh, from entertainment, especially. So this moon in Lagna shows what is the reason, what is the source. And this is also very interesting because uh, here is the Aruda Lagna and third from Aruda Lagna shows her sister, right? So she, together with her, her sister, uh, they together um, with Kylie Jenner, they together uh, have, um, they are CEO of many uh, startups. Uh, related to uh, shoes, related to handbags, related to nails, related to perfumes. So they are doing things together with her sister. And this is the first from Aruda Lagna shows her sister. And here is the cancer. And the lot of the cancer is here in the 11th from Aruda Lagna, which shows she is earning from, from, from her sister or together with her sister. And that is the family because Moon is also the family. So she's earning from her fame because Asanan is there, from family because Moon is there. And also third from Aruda Lagna shows her sister. So everything is here nicely shown in the chart. And uh, uh, so that was this point here, that the third uh, shows the younger sibling from Aruda and the 11th shows the elder sibling. Now, uh, just, to, uh, the, just to define the ascendant, basically defines uh, the presence. What is the presence of the person in the world? And ascendant Lord is the how we act, how we act our basic impulses when it comes to interaction with people, which are, which are like a habit. So here is the Jupiter in the ninth house. This is how she is acting. And there is here the rule that when the Ascendant Lord is in the ninth house, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six seven, eight, nine, here in the ninth house, then the person is very independent. And also this may bring issues with the father. So her parents were, uh, were uh, separated in um, 2013, I think, in October 2013. Uh, and in that time, uh, she was uh, uh, having some kind of, this is also uh, seen in the chart. And, and also the ninth house, because uh, the ninth is related to her uh, career life. It also shows, when it comes to specialization, especially ninth house shows, this shows that when she was 16 years old, she started being a CAO in that time. So uh, first uh, she started when she was uh, 13 year, years old, then she started to doing a modeling. She started with that uh, very young. Uh, when she was 12, she started uh, joining the Kardashians. And then um, uh, from that time, she was very already quite famous. Uh, and uh, when she was 16, really her career life started because here is the Jupiter and Jupiter shows the year 16. So that is uh, nicely seen in the chart. Uh, the next thing here is the, what I want to show you is the Raja Yoga. Yes. And uh, basically the Raja Yoga is, uh, we can translate it to success. What are, the, uh, what are the things which makes person successful and how to see them in the chart? how to time them, how to, how to time them, and how to know uh, what, what 
what are the things from which we can get success or recognition or some kind of awards and, and all the things which makes one influential, important and seen in the society. So uh, here we have again, uh, we have analyzed till now the Lagna Lord, which was here, Jupiter, and the now the 10th house is very important for the status of the person. Basically, there are two, two houses. One is fifth house and one is the 10th house when it comes to uh, being, uh, talking about success, talking about Raja Yoga and so on. But fifth house is, has to do more with people, being authority to people and knowledge. And 10th house has to do being more CAO, uh, being, being a very resourceful person, we could say. So like the Ascent Lord, 10th Lord is also very strong in the Tricona house because here is the sign of Sagittarius and uh, the Lord of Sagittarius is Jupiter, and Jupiter is in the ninth house. Ninth house is a very good house. It's the Tricona house. And there is the, the rule that when the tenth house, here the second point is, the Raja Yoga is created when the connection of Kendra and Kona Lords. So when the, when the tenth Lord, which is the Kendra, is connected to a Tricona, so Kendra plus Tricona is Raja Yoga, is success combination influence, importance, and all these things. So we have 10th Lord in the ninth, but there must be really to have a really strong Raja Yoga, we must have not only 10th Lord in the ninth house, but there must be a conjunction of the ninth Lord or a fifth Lord. So here is Mars, which is the ninth Lord. So we have 10th Lord with the ninth Lord. This yoga is called Dharma Karma Dipati Yoga. And this is the strongest among Raja Yogas, 10th and ninth Lord. This makes person work in the big institutions, projects, like you can read here, big corporations, all that things are coming from that yoga. This is also making a person who is admin administrator. So this yoga here is, uh, we see here that, that Venus is joining. So Venus will describe also what will be the, uh, the theme, we could say. What is the theme of that Raja Yoga, of the success? Where does it happen? What it is all about? So this is Venus, entertainment. Right, so this Venus play a very important role because this is joining this Raja Yoga here and it is defining its color, so that is very nice. And now, very important, uh, as we already said in the Instagram post, that very important uh, sign when it comes to career life is tent from moon. Here we have the moon, and the tent is again the same Sagittarius because she has moon in Lagna, so that is a very interesting point because the houses from Lagna are showing how the world is acting towards us when it comes to. Personally, what is happening in our personal world? But the tent from moon and, and generally the houses from the moon, they show more about society, how the society is, uh, how we are acting in society, how the society is also acting with us. And, and when therefore the moon uh, in Asanen makes one very famous because our personal life also became the social life or public life. So the same career life from the moon, tent from moon, which defines really the income, is also that Jupiter with Mars and Venus, which again um, uh, supports this uh, working in that entertainment and working with uh, things related to wealth because Jupiter and Mars is also very high level of Dana Yoga. They say Guru Mangala Yoga. This is very uh, important yoga for wealth. But about wealth, we will uh, also speak soon. Uh, so next thing, uh, we will go to the next slide. And now we are going a little bit to Vargas. This is, now this becomes very, very interesting. And this is something which makes uh, Indian astrology very unique and very original. Something which Greek, uh, Greek, Western, European astrology doesn't have is that this additional chart, they are called Vargas. And they basically show, they, they give us details. They give us confirmation. And because they are like uh, these subcharts, uh, like Navamsa and Dashamsa here, they are giving us additional details about uh, career life, about relationship, about fortune of the person and so on. So by having these charts, we can really get into the details. Without these Vargas, it is very hard to understand what really happens to a person and especially when it will happen because these Vargas are very important for timing. So uh, now talking about the wealth, there is a very important yoga. Uh, it is said that when Venus and Moon are joined, this is causing something which is called Annapurna Yoga. This is, this is yoga which gives the highest level of wealth. And this yoga, to be really effective, to really give that blessing, has to be related to the 10th house. In Navamsha, so we have opened the Navamsha and we find Moon and Venus in 10th house. 
wow that is just too much <laughs> that is just great and the lord mercury here is uh also the lord of that which shows acting and photography and uh, this can be everything related to uh there is another aspect of art i would say one is venus so she has tent a uh, venus and tent house which shows again wealth uh now 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 vamsha tent house has to do with big wealth and the moon and venus there shows uh, money from acting, money from modeling. Mercury and Venus is also modeling, acting. And the Moon and Venus is all very good when it comes to being a CAO. Now, this also is in Trikona to Saturn. Now, the Saturn Venus yoga can also give one which is very entrepreneurship. This gives entrepreneurship. So the person can be a CAO and can basically be the founder of some companies and so on. So everything is fitting so nice, like a glove with Dinavamsha. And um, yeah, and now, uh, now the Dashamsa comes. So this is basically showing the fortune and now the Dashamsa shows the work itself, right? And, and now the work in Dashamsa is in second, sixth and 10th house. This is the rule. The jobs are in these houses. So again, we have Venus, which shows um, art or modeling or anything related to entertainment. And we have Moon here. So this Venus and Moon Yoga is again in the Shamsa, which makes one a uh, giver of jobs. Basically, this Venus and Moon, it shows person who will feed others symbolically. So it means person who can give jobs to others. These, these people are CAOs or these people are founders or startups when people can earn from. And of course, this Moon uh, can also give very... Uh, a famous person in 10th house. And, uh, and again, we have Lagna Lord here in the ninth house in the Shamsa, which again is a gift person who is more into business, more into independent things because it makes one very independent. And it shows that Venus uh, shows working with beauty and art and uh, Mercury shows acting. And Kendall uh, uh, started acting in Mercury, Mercury period. Now, when it comes to timing, this is, this is very interesting because she started really her career life when Mercury came in the Mercury, Mercury period. And in the Shamsa, this Mercury is a 10th Lord. And in her Dasha, uh, in Navamsha, and in the Shamsa, this Mercury is the depositor of 7th Lord. Here is the Venus, which is 7th Lord. And this is the depositor of it. So in the time she started working. Okay. So this is very uh, nicely uh, depicted in the chart. Okay, let's go now to the family. Um, in her chart, we have, again, the, the basic rule when it comes to parents is that son uh, shows father and ninth lord shows father. So this Mars is a ninth lord because here is Scorpio and Mars is loading Scorpio. Now the moon, which is in Lagna, I, well, we said that she is earning from the moon. She is earning from the mother. It was an 11 from. And the fourth lord also shows the mother. The fourth lord is Mercury here. So now there is, a, there is a very nice rule which, which says count from fourth lord, which is Mercury, to the moon, right? And we have fourth lord to the moon, we have sixth. So it's like Mercury, Rahu, and the sun beings in sixth house. This makes one being involved in some legal cases. And her, uh, we know that uh, the, her mother, Chris Kardashian, was married to Robert Kardashian, which was uh, involved in that famous O.J. Simpson case. Wow. So that was a very big thing. And that uh, could also be shown in the chart. Now, uh, when it comes to father, we have ninth lord, count from ninth lord to the sun. We have 12th house. This is not good. 12th house shows going away. The person is going away. And the separation was in October 2013. And then Bruce Jenner, now Caitlyn Jenner, had transgender coming out in 2015. And that was exactly when that ninth house was activated. When you see the periods, it was in that house. Scorpio get activated in that house when the father had coming out and also when the separation happened. Okay, so we have fourth lord mother to the moon. It shows sixth house, which shows some legal cases involved. And here we have from father, it's kind of loss. Here the Mars and Venus may show some surgery, Mar Mars and Venus. So surgery to the body is, is, is being done. Okay, uh, now... Uh, very, this is very interesting chart when it comes to uh, showing how the Atma Karaka works also. Uh, but to, to connect that together, I will speak a little bit about the uh, affliction. So what is affliction or we call it Shapa? It's a, it's a negative word 
curse connected to that. And this shows the most problematic point of the chart. What is the most problematic point of the chart? It has to be related to two malefics. So we have the malefics in the chart are Sun, uh, sorry, not, not Mercury, uh, Sun, Mars, uh, Ketu, Saturn, and Rahu. These are malefics, all right? So if we count the influence of the malefics, we found that Mercury is most afflicted planet because it is joined two malefics, Rahu and Sun. So the Mercury is most afflicted. Now there is also another rule which shows that planet with the higher degrees is Atmakaraka. Atmakaraka is the planet which shows your spirit. So she has Rahu Atmakaraka. Normally Rahu Atmakaraka makes people very spiritual. It also makes one very naive. A um, person can be cheated by others and so on. Now the third concept, which is very important to demonstrate fully that yoga here, she has an eight, eight house, is concept called Badaka. Now, badaka means something which is agantuka and adrishta, which means problems which are external and also not visible. They are not visible. So uh, for dual signs, the badaka, there, now the rule is that for dual signs, which are Pisces, Virgo, uh, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, and Sagittarius, the badaka is in seventh house. Okay, for movable, it's the, uh, for movable sign, which is Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn, the 11th house becomes the Badaka. And for fixed sign, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius, the ninth house becomes Badaka. That is the rule. Now, she has a dual Lagna, Pisces. This is dual Lagna. And seventh house become the Badaka. So the Lord of seventh house, Lord of Badaka, because here is Virgo, is Mercury. So Mercury is involved with the sixth lord, because in sixth house, we have Leo and Sun is the lord. So we have six and seven lord together. And this is Badaka. This gives legal cases. Person can be drawn to legal cases. And uh, exactly when Mercury Rahu uh, Dasha started, really, you can check that. If when Mercury Rahu Dasha started, she was drawn uh, in, a, in some kind of financial scandals. And uh, I will talk about that a little bit in the next slide. Yes. So that is the, the last slide. And uh, like I said, when Rahu is at Makaraka, the person is, can get easily cheated, is naive, can be spiritual, and get drawn into scandals. You know? So, uh, yeah. And I have written here that on 5th January 2017, she was paid $250 for Instagram post announcing Fair Festival. And her followers could buy tickets using discount code. This was Fradland Festival with Corrupt and on, uh, organized preparations. You can see that on Netflix or uh, Hulu, this uh, uh, documentary, it was so big flop that they make a, a documentary about that festival. She was uh, uninformed. She was just drawn to uh, market that festival. Uh, so this is ha what is happening with the Badakesh, that you are drawn into cases which gives you a problems out of blue. You don't know what is happening, how you get there, and, and suddenly you are in the middle of some scandal and uh, you don't know what, how it happens. So that, uh, and she was involved in Mercury Rahu Rahu. Then she had another, uh, in that same Mercury Rahu period, she had two another uh, bit, we could say, scandals or image shattering, uh, however you, can, you want to call it. One was Pepsi scandal. Pepsi scandal was about that she was uh, using, also without information, without knowing, the Black, uh, the, uh, Black Lives Matter uh, thing was used in that Pepsi AD, in that, in, in that advertisement. And uh, she deleted it and she got out of it. She, but, but nevertheless, people have uh, seen that and that was also not good for her. Uh, for her prestige and for her image. And then it was, she had also, she was criticized because she um, uh, was pr printing and trying to sell some t-shirts with the famous people uh, on them. And that also brought some kind of criticism. And that was all in that Mercury Rahu period. And Mercury is, I will show you one more because now we have the Shamsa. I wanted to show you something in the Shamsa, but we can go back to the Rashi, you can see that it is a seven Lord. Mercury is the seven Lord. So she has problems with seven Lord, problems with people. And seven shows agreements. So she has problems with agreements. Uh, she gets into agreements which make her, which uh, making her problematic. Now, it, the last, in, the, in the last sentence, which I want to make the last point is about that 
when it happened, it was a Jup in another Dasha system, Narayana Dasha, it was the Jupiter acting at the time. And Jupiter is between sun and moon. Sun and moon, this yoga is very negative when it happens to Varga. It's called Amavasya Dosha. So that is the black point, black hole in the chart when negative things happen. So when the Jupiter start uh, was activated, it was also a year when that Aquarius were active. It, it brought her problems. Now, 11th house may have to do with other people trying to draw her into their income. 11th house can work like that. That person is joining another venture, another uh, entrepreneurship or anything related to income. So we see that that yoga was drawn. And a lot of that is Saturn and Rahu in 7th house, which shows some agreements again. And, and this has caused the scandal. So this was problematic period. And it was in Mercury Rahu Dasha. So again, Rahu is loading that house because here we have Aquarius, which is loaded by Rahu. So it was again, very, very nicely shown in the chart. Okay, guys. So uh, thank you very much for watching. That, is the, that was the last slide. And if you want to uh, contact me here, you have some uh, details. Hope it was some usage for you. Uh, please subscribe, please comment. And um, thank you very much.